emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro One G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin, the most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Several months back, I started taking your nascent iodine and your super meal. Prior to this, I was barely walking. Now I'm able to function as a human again. InfoWarsLife.com. You've heard the callers of the show. Your products are great. I use DNA Force. I use X2. Thank super you. Super male vitality and lung cleanse. Every day, they're great stuff. Whether it's Survival Shield nascent iodine or DNA Force, super male vitality, super female vitality, lung cleanse. Fluoride shield, oxy powder. I believe that all of these products will blow you away like they've done the thousands of other customers that have visited InfoWarsLife.com. That's um, just, just amazing what it's able to do to actually detox in the body. It's great stuff. Check out InfoWarsLife.com today and the entire line of groundbreaking, cutting edge, hardcore products. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. Infoworth.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Live from Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show on this January 18th, 2015. That's right, it's already 2015 and we're already past half of the month. And as we're looking at this, we have a great calendar here for 2015, the InfoWars calendar. If you haven't seen this at the InfoWars store, go there and take a look at it at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a calendar each month. We've got a uh, full-color art poster that promotes truth and liberty and a detailed description under each photo to keep you and your loved ones knowledgeable about the historical fight against tyranny and oppression. And each month you get a bonus of a special InfoWars store coupon. So that's the 2015 calendar, uh, one way to start a conversation in your office. And of course, it's a safe for work calendar, even though we have a picture of Diane Feinstein as you have never seen her before or are likely to ever see her again. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, we were talking just before the break about this amazing story about this Hollywood screenwriter who was in the process of exposing the real reason 
he believed that we invaded Panama. And it was an interesting premise. He called the uh, picture as he was writing it, the big steal. The idea being that Manuel Noriega was blackmailing American government officials and had essentially set up a honey trap where he filmed them doing compromising things sexually and kept a large vault of films to blackmail them. And the idea that the invasion of Panama was merely a diversion to do a bank robbery of that incriminating evidence. A very interesting story, a very plausible story in my opinion. But what's really interesting are the deep ties between the CIA and Hollywood. Now, of course, he was uh, found in an aqueduct dead with his hands cut off. But uh, people who are doing a documentary, some British filmmakers who are doing a documentary about this, uh, I think they call it the writer without hands. They said, well, there might be an innocent explanation for this. Really? <laughs> really? I, I don't know about that. You know, we just had a whistleblower who was a guard at Gitmo talking about how he could no longer live with himself, saying that for the first time he has to speak out. He's written a book. Uh, he believes that the CIA murdered detainees. And in one particular case that he goes into a lot of detail on in this article, this is uh, out of Australia. It is um, uh, news.com.au. This is an Army Staff Sergeant, Joseph Hickman. He said he was on guard at Gitmo on the night that these three people quote unquote, committed suicide. And he said, in order for them to commit suicide, they would have had to had all three tie their hands and feet together, shove rags down their throats, put masks over their face, made a noose, hung it from the ceiling on the other side of the cell block, and then jumped into the noose and hang themselves all simultaneously. So that's the kind of thing that we see, like this story about the uh, screenwriter who was murdered saying, well, you know, maybe there's an innocent explanation for why this guy was found uh, underwater a year later in a car with his hands cut off. And he just happened to be writing a story about the CIA. Or maybe there's an innocent explanation. Maybe it was just an accident that Michael Hastings' car uh, just spontaneously blew up uh, going down the road while he was on the run from the government and told people that they were investigating him. Uh, while he had gotten incriminating evidence on uh, government officials... This guy also goes on to talk about the very details of how he saw these people taken out one by one every four minutes. They check on the cell blocks. And he said one night on the night of June 9th, 2006, he was on guard at Camp Delta. He saw a paddy wagon return to high security alpha block three separate times, each time picking up a prisoner, taking them out of the camp. He claims that he watched the paddy wagon take a left turn outside the checkpoint ACP Roosevelt. He said it would only lead to one of two places, the beach or to Camp No, which we now know was a secret CIA holding facility. And then it was announced that they had all hung themselves. So he said he tried to put it out of his mind, but he really couldn't. So he's written this book uh, to uh, tell the world what he saw. And I think that kind of thing, people whose conscience bothers them, who can't live with this, whose consciences haven't been seared with a hot iron, I think they're going to be the ones who blow the whistle and expose this. I think it comes to a point, even if you work with them in Hollywood, even if you're a writer or a director, at some point, it's got to be so grating that you are going to expose that. And so we get little glimpses of it every now and then. Going back to this case in Hollywood with this uh, screenwriter, Gary DeVore, they have a quote in this article from the Daily Mail saying that uh, an author of a book called The CIA in Hollywood, her name is Tricia Jenkins, said that... Uh, of course, she knows that CIA worked off the books to influence Hollywood's grips to an extent that has never been talked about before. She said in one particular instance, and this is not even this film, but it's another one, said one major Hollywood movie that was being produced, it was clear that the CIA had been the principal partner in shaping the original script and its influence and exceeded that which you might see by an aggressive producer or studio executive. In other words, these guys are writing and producing the films. We saw that with... Zero Dark Thirty, pretty much being a propaganda piece for the absurd notion that uh, Osama bin Laden was alive and, and was killed. But we've also had confessions from people within the CIA. I had uh, John Rizzo, who wrote this book uh, that came out a few months ago, I guess it was last summer that came out, Company Man, talking about how he spent 30 years as the chief lawyer uh, defending the CIA. When he talked about it, he said he, he looked at the church hearings and 
most people, when they looked at the church hearings and you had uh, the CIA admitting how they had assassination guns and all these different things, at that point in time, uh, people really hadn't gotten that accustomed to the fact that the CIA was assassinating people left and right. People still had a problem with that, as we all should. But of course, we just get used to it as time goes on. But when he looked at that, rather than being shocked, he, th he thought... The CIA needs a better lawyer. They're really getting a drubbing in front of Congress. Not that we should stop the CIA from murdering people at will and getting away with it, but he thought they need a better lawyer to get them off. So that was his motivation for going there. And of course, while he was there, he helped to run interference for them on their enhanced interrogation, or as most people call it, torture. You know, waterboarding was something that we prosecuted the Japanese for as war criminals. Some of them were executed for that. But of course, now we're told that that's something that's necessary. And of course, when he was promoting this book, one of the more salacious details that came out that people focused on was the fact that there was a uh, Hollywood actor that was an A-list actor that they don't name who said that he would work for the CIA if they would give him $50,000 worth of cocaine. See, everybody knew the CIA was running cocaine in Central America. Gary Webb had exposed that, of course. He was also suicided. Uh, it's interesting when they talk about this, they say that uh, Rizzo said, you know, usually you would think that this might be somebody from the right wing in Hollywood. But he said, actually, people that we would normally associate with liberal causes have assisted the CIA in many cases. And he talks about that particular case of the $50,000 worth of cocaine. Of course, he said, I had no idea why he would ever ask me about that. But of course, the guy did wind up working for the CIA. I think he probably did get his coke. And they pointed out when he was talking about this that uh, he learned of this from one of the CIA's Hollywood recruiters. So they have Hollywood recruiters. They move the narrative on the movies that they want, and they even throw out script ideas for these guys so they can do a little bit of a reveal as to what's going on. Now, there's a story up on Infowars.com from John McAfee, and he's joining the chorus of people who say, as far as the Sony Pictures hack around the interview, he says, I know who hacked Sony Pictures, and it wasn't North Korea. We've heard a lot of experts in uh, cyber warfare and security, and now they're joined by John McAfee. He was talking to the IBT Times UK uh, talking about his uh, brand called Future Tense, and he said, uh, although he's worked with the FBI in the past, he says he knows in this case the agency is wrong. Nevertheless, we see that being used as justification for the next CISPA. Congressmen, as well as Obama, are all telling us that we need to have uh, access and cyber intelligence sharing. That means that they get access to all of your data, and there's nothing that you can legally do to the corporations because... That bill is going to provide immunity to the corporations for turning your data over to them. Stay with us. We're going to be right back with your calls. We've got several of you on there, and we're taking calls on a different line on Sunday. We'll be right back. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the synergistic solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. Every year we make resolutions to lose weight and get in shape. And the truth is, it's hard. Even with diet and exercise, because of toxic food and our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts in nutrition and biochemistry, I found that super high quality nutraceuticals, in addition to my diet and exercise, were the answers that synergistically worked. I can see the drastic changes every day with the amount of weight I've lost, my increased stamina, and more of a twinkle in my eye. That's why we are now so excited to launch the InfoWars 
Life Resolution Pack, combining three essential formulations, oxygen-based cleanser oxy powder, the Secret 12 bioavailable vitamin B12, and your choice of super female or super male vitality. Now all available at a discounted price to you and your family to bring in the new year and make 2015 a true success. That's InfoWarsLife.com.